take on the uh, Thomas Hearns incident. He had to auction off his uh, memorabilia that he worked on for years, trying to uh, pay off tax debts that he owed to the IRS. Mm-hmm. Well, Thomas Hearns, well, you got to look at his history, and the problem that they have is that it's screwed up right now. It's not like any union that's going on, like the NBA and the uh, basketball, baseball. They have a union where they sit down and got, go over budgets and financials and tell people how to like manage their money so that this type of situation don't happen to them. No. 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 They don't. They don't have that with boxing. Golden Boy Promotions sit down with uh, their fighters and give them a periodical like personnel financials, like an overview or report on what's going on. Let me explain some to you. So, for example, I don't want to be picking on Manny Pacquiao, but who cares? Manny Pacquiao pretty much has one of the worst contracts in boxing we all know that but he also belongs to one of the highest tax brackets you know he's estimated right now bringing in 15 million dollars in like pre-tax income but let's say that uh, after taxes he's bringing home nine you know then he still has to be taxed by the philippine government because he still pays two taxes unlike most of the uh fighters who train overseas then come over here just to fight he actually trains here so he actually has to spend more time here and he has to pay more in taxes because he goes over his, um, so, you know, certain amount of time you have to be here. And then his entourage size is over 200 people. So you're, you're looking at them. You got to pay for all their expenses at dinner. He's spending over a thousand dollars for one meal for them. His election that he's losing, he's budgeting about ten million dollars of his own money into this election so he got other expenses that's about two million dollars he's got a wife with uh, all different type of issues that's going on in his personal life that I'm not really gonna go into right now but he's got to pay money to keep her happy and you know he's just really not setting up things that he should like he's trying to get up a legal entity structure that's going on where he can write off most of his business expenses as deductibles in order to like reduce his tax burden so if even if that's true he's gonna lose millions because he has a lack of an estate over here in the United States and by that happening he's you know he's chartering planes that's 35,000 right there you know then all these freeloaders that he got and he don't have an LLC and it's just really bad and in financial management right now it's really crushing a lot of these fighters you know I, I throw Floyd included we need to have something like that in boxing where they sit down and manage these fighters so they don't lose their money in two years if Manny Pacquiao don't fight Floyd Mayweather and he retires after this election he will be broke in two years guaranteed that's it cut and dry